Real Madrid are still the world's most valuable club, according to KPMG's football benchmark. Real head a list followed by Manchester United, Barcelona and Bayern Munich, a club who've not posted a loss in the last 27 years. The table is ranked by Enterprise Value, or EV. The EV of a company is calculated as the sum of the market value of the owner's equity plus total debt, less cash and cash equivalents. It indicates what the business is worth regardless of the capital structure used to finance its operations. Although the list was compiled before the coronavirus pandemic, it makes interesting reading for clubs as they wrestle with the global fallout. The study will be a crucial benchmark to compare values and trends next year to see the true impact of the pandemic, points out KPMG's global head of sports, Andrea Sartori. Over the five years of the analysis, Real Madrid managed to stay ahead of the pack primarily due to the rewards of their three UEFA Champions League trophies in a row and a 41% aggregate growth in commercial revenue. After three years on top, Manchester United stayed in the top three thanks to the brand's appeal and an impressive cumulative EBIT, earnings before interest and tax, of 338 million euros. Despite this, United have shown some of the most sluggish growth since 2016, just 15%. Barcelona's five-year trend reveals a 50% growth in total operating revenues and a record turnover of 839 million euros in the past season. Commercial activities with the extension of new licenses and contributions from new sponsors became their most successful revenue stream, resulting in 52% growth from 2016. While the top of the table remains relatively stable, elsewhere in the top 10, there is plenty to notice. Champions League winners Liverpool jumped two places to fifth. In absolute terms, no club has grown as much as Liverpool since 2016, adding over 1.3 billion euros to their value. They are also third among the top 32 European clubs for over earnings before tax and interest growth in the last four years, behind Spurs and Manchester United. Interestingly, a significant portion of this is accounted for by their excellence in the outgoing transfer market, especially the sale of Philippe Coutinho to Barcelona. Tottenham Hotspur leapfrogged Arsenal, part of a sustained financial growth that has seen them increase their EV by 158% over the years, largely due to Champions League involvement, increased broadcast finances, revenue growth and the best staff cost to revenue ratio in Europe. In that period, only Olympic Lyonnais have increased their EV by more, plus 193%. Spurs are also the most profitable club over the period, following the opening of their new stadium, a retraction in transfer spending, and several large sales. Among other English clubs, Manchester City dropped a position but still have the most valuable playing squad, while Chelsea dropped a place due to recording a net loss of €125 million Euros in the last financial year. Arsenal's struggles on the pitch have had an impact on their revenue and therefore their profitability. They were in fifth position in the 2016 edition, but they're now down to 10th. The club who lost the most positions are AC Milan, dropping from 15 in 2016 to 22nd in 2020, and they are the only club in the five-year analysis that has suffered a decrease in EV in that period, showing a 3% drop. The only entry from the French top league, Paris Saint-Germain, returned to the top 10, having been 11th last report. They've ramped up their commercial activities, branching into sportswear partnerships, and in Kylian Mbappe and Neymar, they have two of the sport's most bankable stars. Remarkably, their ascent also means that for the first time, there is no Italian club in the top 10, with Juventus dropping to 11th in the rankings despite a year-on-year -year EV growth of 12%. Clubs from the Big Five leagues comprise the entire top 10, and they continue to dominate the overall list. There are 27 clubs from Europe's top five leagues among that 32, the same as last year. It's interesting, though, that clubs outside the top five leagues account for about 5% of the EV of the top 32, which is a slight increase on last year. With Celtic dropping out, these clubs are Ajax, Benfica, Galatasaray, Porto and Besiktas. Both Ajax and Porto benefited from Champions League participation, especially the former, who had a strong run in the competition. Both Portuguese clubs and Ajax also performed strongly in the outgoing transfer market, making big sales. 
and Galatasaray's year-on-year -year EV increase of 49% is the best of any club in the top 32, a result of an improved television contract, better performances on the pitch, and a 63% spike in matchday revenue. The report concludes that in the past five years, until the coronavirus pandemic, the football industry showed an impressive pace of development. The overall enterprise value of the 32 most prominent European football clubs has increased by 51% compared to the 13% growth of the 50 largest European listed companies. Commenting on how COVID-19 may have degraded the value of the top European clubs, Andrea Sartori said, The immediate impact at club level cannot yet be quantified, as financial statements for the current season are yet to be published. However, taking into account players' devaluation and the performance of the largest listed clubs in recent months, we can expect a drop of between 20 and 25% of EV for these elite clubs when compared to EVs as of January 2020. Also, peak devaluations for individual clubs can range from 15% up to 30%, depending on the financial position of a particular club. Obviously, each club's situation and EV impact will need to be assessed individually upon availability of their 2019-20 financial statements. For more of the best insightful football finance updates about your team, make sure that you're following the KPMG Football Benchmark Team on social media, a trusted source for many TIFO videos. You can find them on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube and their website footballbenchmark.com. And you can stay ahead of the curve.